Hello everyone, welcome back to Illustrator Tips. I'm your host, David, and today we're going to be talking about the curvature tool. Uh, the quick key for this is going to be shift and the little apostrophe next to the number one on your keyboard. So now we're going to go ahead and use this thing. Now what does it do? Why are we using it? Well, now Illustrator came out with this version of the curvature tool recently, and let me just kind of show you what it does. So you got this, and it curves out any line segment that you go ahead and create. So here I'm just going to create a nice little round egg looking thing and all my curves are done. Now if I went to my pen tool and try to create the same shape, I would have to do this and kind of figure out my angles. All right, here, probably bow this out a little bit. But see, even me trying to do it just freehand like that, I still come across a few issues, like I got a couple points here and here, and I still have to do a little cleanup. But with the curvature tool, you got the shape at curved the way you wanted it to. Now, great thing about the curvature tool is you can also edit with it. So say I got this, this node, man, this is not the way I, the shape should be. I'm going to move this out. The curvature tool still holds the properties of the curve. So you still don't get a harsh, uh, say, angle line or something that looks a little too rough. You really are able to take these curves out and manipulate them exactly the way you want them and to create them into the shape you really are looking for. So there you go. You got you got a lot of really cool things to do with the curvature tool. I'm just going to go to show you another example here. I want to make a wave, so I'm going to make a crashing wave. So here, let's say the crash is here. I'm going to come back up to here, and we're going to bow it out a little bit more. Okay, and there it is. All right. So now I have my crashing wave. Now. I don't really quite like the way this looks, so I'm going to go ahead and come back in here, and first I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to grab my curvature tool. Now, with the nodes selected, I'm able to go right back to the actual points that I want to edit. So I say I want to edit this. I want this to come in maybe a little bit more like that, and maybe that curve was a little too much, and maybe I want to pull this out a little bit more. And you can go ahead and make these edits on the fly with the tool itself without having to grab something else to manipulate it with. Now, say this should be down here a little bit more and a little bit higher. And now it's looking more like the kind of wave I wanted to begin with. So there you have it guys this is really the curvature tool in action and it's actually a really great tool and I can see it being very useful to help out with very you know you know simple but effective uh, smooth drawings that you need to recreate or create for anything for that matter uh, or if you're just looking for a good way to get uh, minimal uh, points uh, for a p particular path now, if we look at this path right here, you can kind of count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight points that makes this entire object. Now, if I did this with the pen, I might have quite a few more just trying to figure out exactly. And I'm not trying to make this look harder than it looks, but I'm just trying to do it quickly so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Didn't mean to make that. So you got this, and now I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, there's eight points there, but it looks nothing like what I wanted it to. Simple thing is that this is actually a little bit more functional than the pen tool, which I got to say is uh, saying a lot because I'm a very big pen tool fan. I love what this thing can do. Um, but for very, you know, curves and you know having a hard time getting those nice rounded edges this is a great tool to really achieve that type of thing so if you're uh, interested in learning more please subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below i'm available to 
take your questions about anything you guys have. And um, I am going to be developing a better course on taking these types of tools and showing them in use in a project in future episodes. So stick around. You'll see that coming up possibly by the end of the year. And uh, hopefully you guys really like it and I can take it further with you guys. And uh, that'll be great. But for now, have a great day and we'll see you next time.